Salman, um, you know, you, you, you are vice president at Silvercorp, but also you're heavily involved in New Pacific Metals and Silvercorp owns 28% of New Pacific Metals. Why are you guys so excited about New Pacific? What have they got going on in Bolivia that uh, is so important? Well, New Pacific really is three exciting projects in Bolivia. The flagship and what everyone's really been focused on over the last few years has been Silver Sand. And that went from discovery to, uh, to initial resource, you can see here in this combined about 190 million ounces. Uh, some more drilling is taking place this year. I think we could round that number up. Uh, but then the, uh, the game plan on Silver Sand is to uh, update the resource, announce a PA by the end of the year, uh, move forward in parallel for pre-feasibility. Uh, but what's exciting about it, it looks like a very straightforward project. And the Bolivian government has come out with a program. They really want to get six new mines operating by 2025. And we think that uh, Silver Sand could slide right into that schedule and be a real uh, cornerstone and a uh, great um, uh, sort of public relations win for, for the government in doing that. So everything is geared on Silver Sand in terms of moving it ahead through that permitting and feasibility stage. But that's remarkably quick, isn't it? To get a to get a, a mine up and operating that quick. I mean, I hear people talking 10, 15, 20 years to get a mine operating. You're, so, you're telling us that New Pacific has a shot at maybe 2025 of being in production? Yeah, it's, it's a pretty straightforward project from a development standpoint. And so that that's definitely a benefit. Uh, also, there's been work being done on it really since it was acquired in 2017 in terms of, uh, of the, obviously the drilling work for uh, the, the resource uh, estimates, uh, as well as you know, starting on and, and working through the environmental and permitting sides of things. Um, but really right now, the, the, the foot is hard on the gas pedal here to, to move it ahead uh, and get, uh, you know, get it into that uh, time frame. And then on top of that, we have two other development projects in Bolivia the New Pacific yeah. has in, in the works? Yeah, that's right. I mean, it, it was that uh, Silver Strike was originally intended to be project number two, but just because of logistics, um, Corangus was drilled, uh, started to be drilled in late 2021. And uh, the holes that have come out of that have been uh, nothing short of spectacular, uh, just given the fact that you know finding um, a silver zone, but then also with some deep drilling, getting into uh, what looks like a, a very large gold system. And so drilling's ongoing uh, there and um, uh, looking forward to continuing uh, the, the positive news in terms of assays uh, over the course of the summer. And, and Silver Strike, not to be forgotten, Silver Strike is actually getting a drill. It'll start being drilled this summer. Yeah, so uh, you, there's just a ton of activity. And Bolivia has become very business friendly in the past couple of years, correct? They've, uh, they've got a, a new government in there. They've updated their mining laws. Uh, a lot of the history from the past is, you know, by the wayside at this point. Yeah, and really the, the history in the past has been special cases of people who've, you know, to be honest, probably made mistakes. And, and other groups like Pan American who've been operating throughout the piece have actually found Bolivia to be a pretty good and stable place to operate and, and more stable than uh, some of the other jurisdictions in Latin America that uh, you know people are trying to advance projects in. So, you know, we, we feel we've got a good relationship and a good understanding uh, and a good partnership um, with uh, um, with uh, you know the uh, the different levels of government in Bolivia and the mining uh, the mining agency. So, yeah, we feel quite uh, quite positive about what can be done there. 